Hello and welcome. This is your host HRB5000 and today I am going to give you some of the best beginner tips on Rainbow Six, Siege, and more importantly, how not to suck. So warm up your Q and D keys and get ready to frag. Welcome to Decoded. After going through the tutorial, you'll be faced with a few options on the different game modes you can play. I suggest going through all the situations first and getting familiarized with the controls and UI. I only suggest playing a real casual game versus real players once you at least get used to all the buttons of the game, and there are plenty of hotkeys. Remember to always drone, all the time. Your drone is one of your most valuable assets as an attacker and the information that you can gather from a quick peek is invaluable. You can leave your first drone near your team's decided point of entry to quickly pick it up again on your way inside the building or use it right away to pre-scout for your team. Just make sure to keep it safe as you only get two drones per attack round. Try to keep them alive for as long as possible, as the longer they survive, the more valuable they become. Another daunting fact about this game is the sheer amount of characters options. Luckily for you, I compiled a list of the easiest characters to play on both attack and defense. Most of these characters have a good set of guns paired with simpler gameplay. For attack, some of the easiest characters to pick up include, Sledge, Ash, IQ, Zofia and of course, Twitch. All of them have decent R's with low recoil and accurate damage. And just as a reminder, drone all the time in attack. Like, all the time. Seriously. For defense, Rook, Doc, Lesion and Mute are all beginner friendly. I definitely recommend Rook as your first defensive character. His armor is incredibly helpful for newer players with its added survivability. And not to mention his awesome gun kit that's pretty easy to use and frag with. Another overlooked aspect is the game's innovative sound design. There are certain sounds that you can only hear if there isn't a physical barrier between you and the source. This means breaking windows or walls to hear the precise location of your opponent is a common practice. But a tip that I'm going to give you is to take advantage of the game's night mode sound option and turn off your bass boost. This makes the game's quiet sounds louder and louder sounds quieter. Meaning louder footsteps and quieter gunshots making it easier to distinguish where the opponents are coming from instead of just getting overwhelmed with loud noises. And lastly, play with friends. If you don't have any, make some. Add the best players in your game, given that they weren't being toxic to you. Or even if they were being toxic, if that's your style, add them up. I won't judge you. But for the most part, learning and losing with a group of friends is a lot easier on your morale. Don't take this part of the game too seriously, try to prioritize having fun over winning. You won't make it to the pro league for at least a couple of years, so you have some time to enjoy. In summary, drone all the time, play basic characters, turn up your sound and add up fellow newbies. This is a team game after all, play with the team or lose often. As always, this is your boy HRB5000 signing off. Peace. Bye.